Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joshua Collins, and I've directed the show Inverse Psychology. I'm very honored to have been able to be, be given this opportunity to direct this fantastic show. I had the greater honor of directing this show alongside my best friend, Miss Emerson Short.
we had a little tradition in the theater company and in the troupe where during states, there's a scene at night closer to the end of the year. I mean, closer to the end of the week, excuse me. And during that senior night, the seniors receive a pair of dog tags. And we're given the dog tags as it's sort of part of, it's just a tradition. And it's just to show that we put in so much work into the time that we've had here and into everything that we've done here. Um, I have mine right here. But like I said, we're given a pair. And it's because it's part of the tradition to give your second one to an underclassman who you just love, appreciate, and want to leave a legacy with. No. <laughs> Anywhere, anytime soon, if I'm being honest. I mean, 
Surely, if I can't even manage to handle small things myself. How beneficial would it really be for us to keep going? It is more beneficial to keep going now rather than quitting. In the end, it is up to you. But the way I see it, at least we aren't letting anything get worse anymore, right? How would I know? I'm the idiot teenager and you're the professional here. <laughs> now that's a little uncalled for, wouldn't you say? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend. I need to learn to keep my big mouth shut. Have they ever <coughs> asked you why you apologize a lot? Because you've already apologized twice today. I mean, it's, it's largely because I am doing something incredibly wrong. <laughs> but you're not, Andrea. You aren't doing anything wrong at all. What makes you think that you are? I don't know. I, I just Andrea, there is 
no reason to try to find a way to please someone about something as personal to person as that. Don't try to please them. Try to please you first. You shouldn't have to care about others' opinions about you. Which I know is easier said than done. But the world is one huge popularity contest. And if you're behind, there's no way for you to be happy in this ever-changing world. In this world, any girl that can't potentially fit in the children's section of the store is completely overlooked. Especially when trying to make friends and get someone's attention. You could have the sweetest and most genuine personality in the world. You could be incredibly smart as well, but that won't matter when someone clings to you for the first time. In that first glance, they form an opinion. More often bad than good. And when they look at me and in my body, how could they possibly see anything but negative? I wish that the world hadn't reached the point in history so soon. But it has. There is no turning back from here. No matter how many body positivity goes to work, but, but, but more often than not, it doesn't work. If anything, it reminds me of what I truly am. A gross, ugly, fat pig who seems to only be good at stuff in my face. So in my case, I can only be happy if other people are happy with me. And that's not going to happen unless I change what I am. Andrea, do you hear what you're saying? This is extremely concerning. <laughs> it's not like you need to be worried about me. I'm fine. It's just a matter of portion control. It's a healthy thing, see? A lot of diet and exercising is working out okay. You can see some results. Sure, there are pains that come with it, but I learned to study it. I have been doing this for many years, Andrea. And the change that I see in you in only a few weeks is the opposite of healthy. But I know it'll be better for me in the long run. Especially once I start seeing some results and I pleased everyone I need to please. I don't look so gross and unhealthy. But I don't want you to get too far into you. You are a smart girl with so much beauty and potential. If it helps, that's what I see in you. Thank you. That helps a lot. But you don't have to say all that. After all, I am paying you to listen to me ramble about incredibly stupid things when I know there are tons of other people who could use your help. But here I am, wasting your time. You are not wasting my time. In fact, I think it's time I'm extremely well spent. I am a lost cause. I came to that conclusion years ago, and I have accepted it. You have done the best that you could, though, so thank you. But therapy is for someone who wants to or needs to be better. <laughs> and I think it's time to face the facts of the state of that I'm sick of myself! What? I didn't say anything important. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. I didn't know what else to say, so I said something just to say it. Sometimes I wish someone knew me better. That I don't have to be told who I 
name, but his voice in my head that claims to know me. His voice says nothing but nonstop criticism, as if I want this misshapen head. I already hear enough criticism at school, and I can ignore most of them, but I can't ignore me. Because I know myself best. Don't I? Unfortunately, so okay. I admit it, with the continuous headache that goes on here, some outside opinions slip through the cracks every day. I hear people talk about me saying how I should lose some weight and try to look less disgusting in school. By the age of 16, I had never experienced being overweight or obese, but now I am underweight. I have become obsessed with being someone I didn't think I would ever want to be. I want to be like the girls that say, I look disgusting. Before this, I considered them not as slim or small, but scrawny. Not that they were beautiful, but they didn't look like they were strong enough to fight and beat it. I was fine with the way I was until the bullet word pig started flying in my direction. And yes, it came with a bang, but not as much as the infestation of anarchic thoughts and actions did. I'm constantly hungry. What do I eat? No. Especially not in front of those who fit into an extra small. And maybe they have an eating disorder too, and, and, and this is how they deal, and, and cope. But the thought never enters your head when you're swallowing diet plus instead of swallowing your lunch. When you're bloated with only water inside your stomach, it hurts. I didn't use to like this. It's just over time, all of this grew out of nowhere. All but one thing. My entire life, only one team this day. My entire life, I felt some form of depression. But it has grown bigger, stronger, and more overpowering than ever expected. It may not say much, but its actions, along with other factors, sound louder than any personal thoughts have ever. Can I get rid of this pain completely? No. I was born in pain. But do I wish I could get rid of it? Strangely enough, no. And I wish I could say why. But I want to control this. I want to be more than this. I want to be better than this. I don't want to be influenced into thinking that I have this going through and through. But I don't think there's any way for me to do it. It's too late for me to not be the screw up that's all there is to see when you look at me. Maybe these stomach pains I've been feeling have nothing to do with anorexia. Maybe it's just that I'm finally getting somewhere with my health and learning to control the amount of food I eat. But the scales are trained and the mirrors are clear and live. It's disgusting to look at. You can't fool your body. You can only fool your mind, and I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, that's not true. But how is it not? Maybe the reason I have trouble seeing the glass is half full is because I've never known what a full glass looks like. All we see is the water going down until there's barely a drop left to solve it. I know you said that we should keep going with this, but I don't think you should waste your time with me anymore, Dr. Fax. Let's stop it. It's bullshit to accept the fact that I'm a lost cause.
And the way you said what you said, it sounds like you may not have ever gotten that chance before. You have never gotten to say until right then, and I can tell you needed that. But this is what I like to call a breakthrough. Finally got to break through. How did that feel? It didn't happen without consequence. But otherwise, I finally got my say. And no matter what, nothing is going to be the same from this point on. You said that you wanted to quit coming here. Do you really want to? Because if so, I can cancel our next two scheduled sessions. I mean. No. Keep them. It looks like it is scheduled for the 21st. Does that still work? Sounds good to me. Thank you. Thank you to the best cast in the world. Thank you guys so much.